We are doing Kaleidoscope today, and welcome back to the broadcast. The founder and executive director of Kincaid's Kindred Spirits Incorporated, Adrian Kincaid, and medical analyst Glenda Dames Fincher are here to talk about the mission of the organization and how they're making individuals more aware of sickle cell anemia. Good to have you with us, Adrian Kincaid and Glenda, uh, Dames Fincher, who's sitting on the outside, Adrian next to me. Well, what is, what is uh, Kincaid's Kindred Spirits? You're, you're the founder uh, of it and executive director. What is it? Well, Kincaid's Kindred Spirits, we're Citizens for Healthy Living, uh, Sickle Cell Community Outreach Adult and su uh, Support Group for Youth. And, and how does that work? What do you what do? You do? Um, what we do is uh, we go out into the community to reach adults and youth who are affected with sickle cell anemia mm -hmm. to um, teach them how to take better care of themselves so they can live productive mm -hmm. and long lives. Glenda, give me a thumbnail sketch, just a little sketch of what is sickle cell anemia? Well, uh, sickle cell disease is a group of uh, inherited blood disorders, which sickle cell anemia is one of, mm -hmm. and uh, they involve the red blood cells, which are the cells in the blood that carry oxygen mm -hmm. from the lungs to all of the body's tissues and keep the body alive, every organ, every mm -hmm. hair almost. Mm -hmm. And with sickle cell, what happens is the cells are become a uh, sickle shape. Sickle the shape of a of moon, a crescent half moon. moon yes. crescent moon. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, the cells become very sticky, rigid. They don't flow through the blood through the bloodstream mm -hmm. easily and they begin to cause clogs throughout this, the system. Yeah. This causes severe excruciating yeah. pain and damage to the organs. And there's a hereditary piece to all of this too. Yes, it is a inherited disease. It is the most in, uh, common inherited blood disorder in the world. Mm -hmm. There's over 10 million people in the world with the disease, over 100 million carriers. In the United States, there are between 80 and 100,000 people with the disease, mostly African American and Latino uh, uh, background, but also it is also found in Caucasians and people of Indian descent. Adrian, what's your vision for the organization, Kincaid's Kindred Spirits? What's your vision? Well, my ultimate vision is to um, just get people more aware about themselves and if they have the traits to um, be careful who they mate with mm -hmm. so they won't uh, produce another child who has the illness because it, of, if, because of the, if the man and the woman bo both have this carry this trait yes. that they can pass that down to, to yes. any children who are yes. and, and, you, and you can carry the trait without actually having the disease am exactly. I correct? yes mm -hmm. so um, if, if you're more aware of, of, of what you are and, and what you have you won't uh, carry this this devastating is a devastating yeah. illness on to someone else yeah why the name uh, Kincaid's uh, that's your name of course Kincaid's kindred spirits well, what, what's that mean well um, Kincaid is like you said it's my name mm -hmm. and I wanted to leave something behind once I'm gone kindred uh, is bringing you know something that you have in common with someone else mm -hmm. and then the spirit of it all it, it just brings it all together because we're all uh, we all have the same thing that we carry in common, and that's sickle cell anemia. So what's the message that you take out, Glenda Dames Fincher? What's the message that you take to the community? What is it that you want the community to understand? Uh, well, first off, that particularly uh, children with sickle cell disease are getting support. There are agencies and, and some government funding, not as much as we'd like. But when people are living longer now with better care, we have adults that really need support also with sickle cell disease. The average age used to be about 18, and now the average age is about mid-40s. So we really need services uh, for a very devastating chronic illness. We also need people, particularly African Americans, to increase blood donation. Mm -hmm. uh, sickle cell patients can use about 100 or more units per year so of there, red blood there's cells. there's an educational component. You're yes. trying to uh, 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 make the, the public aware yes. of yes. the needs out there. What kind of services, What? give me an idea, we've got about a minute remaining, what kind of services do you provide for those families who are affected by sickle cell anemia? What we do on a monthly basis, we have monthly support group meetings that we meet every third Tuesday mm -hmm. at Euclid Library from 6.30 to 8.30. Um, there we have guest speakers uh, and we do open sessions where we discuss um, things that might give you better health. 
ways to take care of yourself, um, initiate individuals to get a primary care physician because most of them don't know that they need a primary care physician. Um, trying to teach them not to use the emergency room as a primary mm -hmm. care and find a doctor, you know, do your regular visits. Just overall, overall health screening, health, you do yes. overall health thoughts, how to yes. remain healthy, yes. even with sickle cell or yes. even without sickle cell, yes. how to remain healthy, yes. the things you put in your body, those kinds exactly. of things. Let me put a phone number on the screen, uh, as you see already there, 347-1931, that's in the 216 area code, or you can go to the website, KK numeral four sickle cell dot org you see that printed at the bottom of, of the of the uh, of the screen as well we've been chatting with adrian kincaid she's founder and executive director of kincaid's kindred spirits and with glenda dames fencher she's the medical analyst for kincaid's kindred spirits how long have you been doing this by the way six years well thank you for what you do god bless you for what you do and you too Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for being on the broadcast. I'm going to take a break. This is Kaleidoscope. In a moment, we'll hear from Marsha Maccabee, the president of the Urban League of Greater Cleveland. But first, these words, especially for you.